to July 2021, I filed a complaint for the chief not activating his body camera. That complaint was unfounded, right? Because it was a business check. Any of y'all heard that? It was a business check. That's why he didn't have to turn it on. I'll never come back to a meeting if you can prove that to me. Never. Everything in here says it should have been on. It should have been on. This is the third complaint. The third official complaint for not activating your body camera. This is his policy. He just said he has it. What is going on? How is this acceptable? I know you can't talk to me. I know you don't want to talk to me. How? How is this acceptable? And this isn't the last one. A fourth was created when I walked in the door and he didn't turn on his damn camera. What is going on? He just said on the record he has it. Do y'all know when seconds really, really matter? When seconds really, really matter? He's minutes away. Minutes. And maybe even hours. Because it took him six hours to book me for a cracked windshield. Six hours, there's an officer off the street dealing with that. Right, and uh, y'all didn't want to respond to my comment last week. You never responded to the formal request? I know that you've been sent a comprehensive report of all of your requests and complaints, but this is one way dialogue with the council. So, is there anyone else here for public comment? I did not get a comprehensive evaluation. I did not. You're saying one thing and it did not happen. Mr. Mulhern, you were provided email communications as well as mailed by first class mail to your P.O. box. With a what P.O. box? Response. What P.O. box? The same P.O. box that we had on file for you. What P.O. box? I would have to look it up. We're not going to have that discussion today. Is Can it 776? If it's not 776, I'm not getting it because I hadn't got any mail from you. All right. Well, we will follow up with you then. And as far as a comprehensive review, when the judge has already said it's full of lies, it's not a comprehensive review. Joey, when Mr. Judge Mulhern, Costanza Wright says it's full of lies, it's not a comprehensive review. Mr. Mulhern, thank you. We're done. You're done. Smith, I'm, uh, I'm the new owner of the Grand Gazette, uh, which is a newspaper here in Grant County. I'm going to start covering Winter Park and Frazier, so I'll be attending these events probably mainly online. I just wanted to kind of introduce myself and say I'm excited to uh, yeah, be covering Winter Park. Thank you. Thanks. Nice to meet you.